Hey, it's Brixar, and we're going to start a video series where we're going to look at my LEGO Club magazine collection. Here in the United States, the LEGO Club started out as Brick Kicks, the LEGO Club magazine, and then it became Mania, LEGO Mania, and then they changed the name a few times. But the first in 1987 was this, Brick Kicks. So what we're going to do is kind of give a brief overview of uh, some of these issues. Now these are very uh, thin. There's not very many pages to it. And what I've done is I keep them in these binders. And these are like uh, for comic books. But I have uh, my brick kicks in here. And these early brick kicks, they're only a few pages long, I think. Just a handful. We'll just look at it real quick. This is the very first issue. Issue number one. It's from 1987. And does have a lot of words in there. <laughs> it's got mocks. It's got uh, pictures from uh, kids that were sent in. It's got comics and other little uh, secrets and tricks and quizzes and things like that. And then showing how to make a boat on the back. So that's basically the same format as uh, the magazines today, but um, they were just shorter. Here is issue number two. It's got the capital, United States capital on the front. And then it's got a little article about the Duplo brick. Lego World Show Tours. Here's your creations again. I wonder where some of these kids are today. This kid David Zachary he's from Georgia West Point Georgia and then the adventures of Brick Buildmore <laughs> and then some more ideas or suggestions for making things and then on the back is a little order form to get the special <gasps> look at that space key ring wow that's the one I've been looking for. I actually don't think I have that one. I think the ones that people have been listing as that one are really the more recent ones. I would love to get this because that's from, um, I think this came out in 87 or 88. Uh, and this was issue number two. All right here is issue number three. It's got the Legoland Park on the front. And on the inside, I got this insert, again, from Susan Williams, who I thought was a real person, but is not one. Uh, just a little insert that came with that. Some more Legoland Park information, little activities. There's the mocks that people have made. I'd like to know if somebody, AFOL today, has uh, one of their mocks was showcased when they were a kid. There's Brick Buildmore again, better brickmanship, in special. Okay, here's issue number four. And we got Zack the Lego Maniac. Some may remember that from the late 80s. And then we got the Dino Safari information there. And here's more about Zack the Lego Maniac. He even got a song, <laughs> apparently. He's Zach. <laughs> and then, so, uh oh, somebody wrote in my. Oh no. Somebody tried to solve the puzzles and do the maze. And here's some more creations. I should look at these names and see if I recognize any of them. That'd be neat. Again, Brick Build More, Better Brickmanship, and then. A coupon to order stuff. They, every one of these has got that keychain. Oh, the Benny keychain. That's what I call it. Okay, starting with the fall of 1988. They no longer numbered the issues. So this is the fifth issue. It came out in fall of 98. And now they came out seasonally. So there would be four issues a year. I think there was a big gap between the first issue and some of the other ones. But now... This is when they started making it regularly. And again, it's all the same principle. 
There's Sitting Bull. There's a monument to Sitting Bull they're building up in, I think, South Dakota. Things been under construction for like a hundred years or something. All right, and then there's more models. We got more. They dedicated two pages to it. There's some of the names. Of course, this is a U United States um, Lego Club magazine, so all these are going to be U.S. kids. And brick build more, better brickmanship, and more sets that we wish we had today. Oh, look, another fire chief car. It's called fire truck. I don't have that one. You got a mayonnaise jar thing, squirter. All right. All right, here's the winter 88, 89 brick kicks. And is that a picture from the 70s? What is the deal with that? Uh, Lego robots. Dream houses. Then somebody taped this one up. I got to see if I can find a better condition one. More Lego creations. Honor roll. They even get your name mentioned if you didn't have a creation in there. I have never submitted one. Here, brick build more. Again. Ooh, there's a cool one. Lego robot out of space pieces. I should build that. That's pretty neat. And then more things that are for sale. For members only prices. There's Space Police. Some new Lego town sets. But I need to build that. Pretty neat. So that's the first six issues of the Builders Club Brick Kicks magazine, the official magazine of the Lego Builders Club. This began in 1987 and we're up to the winter of 88-89 in the first six issues. So tell me what you think. I'll keep doing these. I'll do them once a week and we'll go through six. I may change it up, but I'll try to do six issues of the Brick Kicks and then we'll get into the other ones, the Lego Mania Club magazines and things like that. So. Hope you like this, uh, a look at some vintage LEGO magazines. These brick kicks are very, very hard to find. I think most people that got them just threw them away. So they are hard to find, and especially hard to find in good condition. So there's a look at the first six issues. Thanks for watching. It's Brickzart.